Welcome to 20 Minute Tech Tips, where we break down a specific task or software feature. I'm Liz. And I am Rachel. And in this episode, we are bringing you Picture Smart AI once again. So we started out this series by introducing this JAWS and Fusion feature to you. And now with the May software updates, we have new functionality that we want to show you. So Picture Smart AI, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is a feature in JAWS and Fusion that allows you to have an image, a graphic, you know, any kind of picture described to you. And this feature has actually been around since 2019, but it has new functionality that we integrated into our products a couple of months ago where you can uh, use AI, where it uses, for example, ChatGPT, uh, was one of the AI features or services that we use to describe the picture and give you a very detailed description so that you can interact with the image in a way that you haven't been able to before. Well, now with the May updates, we have the ability to use what we call or what AI, what is known as in the AI world as prompts. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. And prompts just give you the ability to interact and ask questions. So, you know, if you're thinking, what are prompts and how do I use them and you know, what can I ask? This is what we're going to be talking about today. So, Rachel, let's talk a bit about prompts and what they are and how we can leverage them here in Picture Smart AI. Absolutely. And prompts are like exactly what you said. They are, they give you the ability to interact with the AI and get specific and detailed information. Usually when you're getting a picture described, you have something in mind that you might need from that description, that picture or that description. Now, it's not always true. You may be just identifying pictures so you can catalog and label them. But even in this case, you can ask, for really specific and detailed descriptive information. And using those words like descriptive or detailed, those are good ways to ask for information. So, and we'll we'll talk about this a little more, but that's just kind of a, a very introductory understanding of how you start using prompts. Yeah, and we think of this sometimes as, you know, chatting with AI or having a conversation because you know, you get some information, you may not even need, or you may not even know what you need to know, right? You may not even know when you have a picture, you just want to know what it is. But as you dive into the description, you start reading the description, then other things may come to mind. You know, what do I need to know about this picture? So uh, let's go ahead and use a couple of examples here and get descriptions. And then we'll just kind of go back and forth here and talk about some things that we would want to ask uh, picture smart AI. I'm going to go over here to a folder where I have some files. C colon backslash. And you can acquire different types of information here with picture smart. So a couple of the benefits of using picture smart AI. One is it's right here built into JAWS. So this is a feature of JAWS or Fusion, if the, the JAWS part of Fusion. So if you're on a web page or if you are, like Rachel said, in a folder where you have some pictures stored and you want to know what they are, you don't have to run another app. It's all right here. You can just do it from right here. And so it doesn't interrupt your workflow. Also, you have a lot or several different options for how you get that picture described. For example, uh, Picture Smart is activated from what we call the, the command layer. So you press insert space followed by the letter P for picture smart. And then if you want to know what commands are available, you could press question mark. But you can actually use commands. For example, F will describe the file that your focus is on. So you don't even have to open the file. You can just mm -hmm. have focus on it. C for control. Um, S for a screenshot. W for window. So it just allows you to get a more granular uh, you know, some more granular description of those photos. Right. And then A also, you can capture from a external device like a scanner or a Pearl camera. Yeah, that's another great one too. All right. So we're here on a picture. Let's see. Beach.jpg, two of four. All right. So this picture is just called Beach, which, you know, the name of it doesn't really tell us what it's, what the picture is. So I know it'll be some kind of beach scene. So let's go ahead and describe this image using the file command. 
I'll press insert space. P for picture smart. Picture smart. And F for file. Picture smart is in progress. The image depicts a group of six friends sitting on the beach at sunset. They appear to be enjoying themselves, with one person playing a guitar and others. Laughing and clapping, the atmosphere is relaxed and joyful, with the ocean visible in the background. Link asks questions about this image. All right, so there, when you initially have a, an image described here, you get a brief description. It just gives you an idea of what that image is. And from here, you have some links you can either tab to or use your arrow keys. So here we could ask questions, which we're going to do here in just a minute. We can link get more details. We can get more details and we can also link give feedback about this feature. Give feedback. And we encourage you to do that, by the way. We want to know how you're using Picture Smart AI and what you're about your experience. So here you would be taken to a form that you could fill out to provide feedback. So if we go up here, link get more details we can get more details. And I'm not going to read the entire description it's going to give us, but I am going to press enter on this link to go out there and get more details. Get more details link. Picture Smart is in progress. And we're going to get information from two services here. Heading level two, Claude. All right. So this first one is called Claude. Um, it's going to give us a description. So I'll just read part of that. The image shows a group of young friends hanging out together on the beach at sunset. They are sitting on the sand, laughing and enjoying each other's company. The warm, golden light from the setting sun casts a beautiful glow on their faces and bodies. So, and, and there's more description here that we could read, but it's going to give us more details about how many people are in the picture. And uh, if we go down here, if I press the letter H to go to the next heading, Chat GPT head. We get the chat GPT description, which is even going to give us more details about each person, what they're wearing, and that one person's playing a guitar, and you know, just more information. So after reading, you know, this long description, you would have a lot more information about the picture, but there are still some things you might want to know. So I'm going to press tab. Ask chat GPT questions about this image link. And I'm going to enter or space here. Press enter. Type a question, colon, edit. So here we have forms mode that we just heard activate here. And we can type a question to ask. And you can you can actually phrase it in the form of a question. Or you can say something like, tell me more about the colors of the sunset. That's, for example, that's one thing I would like to know. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. And I'm going to press enter. Tell me more about the colors of the sunset. Get here. The sunset in the image enhances the overall mood and ambience with its warm and vibrant colors. Here are the details colon dash star star primary colors star star colon. The sky is dominated by warm shades of orange and yellow, which cast a golden hue over the scene. These colors are most intense near the horizon, gradually fading into softer tones as they rise. Dash star star gradients and hue star star colon. As the colors transition, they may blend into lighter shades of pink and peach towards the higher areas of the sky. This gradient adds depth and enriches the overall visual experience. Dash star star effect on the scene star star colon. The golden light from the sunset gives every a warm glow, reflecting off the skin of the people and the surface of the sand. The light enhances the colors of their clothes, making them appear more vivid. Dash star star water reflection star star colon the sunlight subtly reflects off the water, creating a shimmering effect. The tones from the sky interact with the blue dash gray of the ocean, producing a beautiful interplay of colors. Dash star star atmosphere star star colon the warm colors exude a sense of tranquility and relaxation, often associated with the end of the day. This peaceful yet vibrant environment complements the joyful mood of the group. All these color elements come together to create a picturesque and heartwarming sunset beach scene. All right. Wow, that was a long answer. You may not always get an answer that long, but that was a lot of detail that we didn't get the first time around. And right. And that was excellent, actually, because all you said was tell me more about. So you didn't even have to use any of these like keywords for prompts that were kind of touching on today, which, you know, like detailed or be descriptive about, etc. Another thing I wanted to point out is just that in the initial description, it did tell you that the ocean was in the background and asking specific questions about the background or the foreground of the photo can give you more image or more information. So I wanted to get more information specifically about the guitar. And like we talked about 
it's all about what you want to know about the picture. Obviously, we got an amazing description of the sunset just then, but I'm hoping we can get a detailed description of the musical instrument in the photo. All right, that's a great idea. Uh, I am going to virtual PC cursor press escape here. But um, again, this is an HTML window here. So as we're navigating, I'm just going to go to the top and I'll, I'll show you this. Heading level two. So if you wanted, for example, to read that description again, you can go to the top with control home and down arrow. This image depicts a lively group of six people sitting. And then if we want to go back to that edit field and ask that question that Rachel has here, we can press E. Type a question colon edit. And I'll press enter. Type a question colon edit. And so how how would how would you phrase that question? How do you want me to type Maybe that just in? say, please provide a detailed description of the instrument in the photo or the guitar in the photo, since it's already identified it as guitar. Okay. Let's see. All right. Please pro add a detailed description about the guitar in the photo. Type a question colon edit. I made a mistake there, but I think it'll know what I'm saying. Let's I see. think so too. <laughs> the guitar in the photo is being played by a person sitting with the group on the beach. Here are the detailed attributes of the guitar colon. Dash star star type star star colon. It looks like an acoustic guitar, which is typical for casual, outdoor settings like this one. Dash star star body star star colon. The body of the guitar is slightly obscured by the person holding it, but from what is visible, the body appears to be of a classic, rounded shape. The wood looks polished with a natural, likely honey or amber color. Dash star star neck infrared forward star star colon. The neck of the guitar, extending out from the body towards the player, is straight and seems to be made of the same or a similar type of wood as the body. The fretboard is darker in color, possibly rosewood or ebony, contrasting with the lighter body. Dash star star strings star star colon. The guitar has six strings, which are standard for this type of instrument. You can see some of the strings, especially those closer to the player's hands, reflecting the light. Dash star star position star star colon the player is holding the guitar in a typical strumming or playing position, with one hand over the sound hole area and the other on the fretboard. Dash star star decorative element star star colon there isn't much visible decoration on the guitar, suggesting it is a more straightforward, functional model. The sound hole seems plain without elaborate inlays. Dash star star lighting and shadow star star colon the guitar is catching some of the warm light from the setting sun, giving it a soft, golden glow. Shadows created by the player's hands and the guitar strings add depth to its appearance. Overall, the guitar appears to be well dash suited for the casual, relaxed setting, enhancing the friendly, musical atmosphere of the gathering. Wow. That was great information there. It was. They give great descriptions. They really do. And and again, you know, this can be very powerful because there's a lot you can ask. And as you as you start to ask questions, you sometimes you think of more things that you would want to know. And especially if you're trying to, maybe you have several beach pictures, maybe you went on vacation, you have several pictures that were taken, you know, on the same night um, or, you know, during that vacation, you could really organize those. Something else I would like to know just real quickly here. Edit. I want to know, is there any food in the photo? Is there any food in the photos? Blank. Interesting. No, there is no visible food in the photo. The focus appears to be on the group of people enjoying each other's company, the guitar music, and the beautiful beach at sunset. There are no plates, snacks, or any other food items evident in the scene. The setting creates an environment centered around relaxation and social interaction rather than a meal. All right, so there we go. Yeah, and we, we're almost at five minutes out, so we're going to move on to another photo, I think. Yes. But just to reiterate what you said, like you can go so much further because, I mean, I'd like to know some things even more about this photo. You know, are there children? Are they all adults? It's, it did mention they were young people, but as you can see, as we go through this, you can drill down into any area and just ask more questions of the AI. Absolutely. When you're finished asking questions, you can hit escape. Beach.jpg. And that takes us back to the, the folder where our picture is located. Let's go over here to the internet where I have a product page for a computer desk open. Screen share real space X cross 48W. All right. So let me locate this image here. Real space, real, real, real space. Close button. All right. I'm going to down arrow a couple times. Previous slide button. Next slide button. And here we go. 
Real space registered X dash cross 48 quote W computer desk with file cabinet, black click to zoom image button. All right, I could space to zoom that, but I'm just going to go ahead and press insert space P. Picture smart. Then C for control. Picture smart is in progress. The image shows the modern black office desk with the setup three drawers on the left side. On the desk, there is a laptop, a small desk lamp, and a pen holder. All right. So again, we could tab through these different options. I don't want to get the detailed description right now. Ask questions about this image link. But I do want to ask questions. So I'll hit enter. Type a question, colon, edit. Now I want to know what the top, what, what is the material of the desktop? So I'm just going to type here. T -A -A -W. I'll type describe the desktop M. material. Describe the desktop material. The desktop material appears to be a smooth, dark dash colored surface, possibly made of a laminate or engineered wood with a sleek finish. So, you know, if I'm in the market for a desk here, I'm looking to purchase a desk. I want to know, you know, is it glass? Is it uh, wood? You know, what is it made of? So this is one way I could get this information. All right. Anything else we want to know about this photo? I think it says, it told us it had drawers on the left-hand side. And it also said that there were some, like, items on the top. Um I think I want to know because a lot of things, I mean, when I buy a desk, I find that over time they get wobbly. So can you please ask the AI if this desk or the image of this desk shows um, mm, trying to think how to phrase it, bracing across the back of the frame? Oh, that's a great question. Yeah, let's see here. Edit. Type of edit. Okay. Is there bracing across the back of the frame? Blank. Yes, there is a horizontal brace across the back of the desk frame, providing additional support and stability. All right, there we go. So there is bracing. Great. I always want to know that so that I don't just get, you know, a table that gets wobbly really quick. Yeah, that's a great question. So one thing you can do when you are navigating uh, through, when you have asked it different questions or you have different prompts, you can review those because they are under headings. So you can go to the top of the page because it's an HTML environment and you can just press the letter H for heading. And that will take you to the different prompts or the different questions you've asked. And then you can read each one with your down arrow key. So you could just navigate through there. If you've asked about five questions, you would be, you would have five headings there with those prompts. So I just wanted to mention that. Well, I'm so excited about this new functionality and I cannot wait to play with it more and use it in my everyday life. Absolutely. And definitely check it out. Uh, download the latest update of JAWS and Fusion. You can have all the functionality in Picture Smart AI and give us your feedback and stay tuned for additional training because we're going to be talking about this more in the coming months. Thank you for joining us for 20 Minute Tech Tips. We'll see you next month.